Hello YouTube, this is Nitish Kumar and today I'm going to show you how you can transfer data from one computer to another using a simple LAN cable. So hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can transfer data from one LAN to another by using a simple LAN cable. And the idea behind this whole concept of transferring data is that you want to transfer a large amount of data in a very short time. So instead of using pen drive and doing a repetitive process again and again back and forth, like it's so messy and time consuming that you don't want to use that. So today I'm going to show you how you can use a LAN cable, a simple LAN cable actually transfer data from one lab to another so let's just go ahead and watch that video so I'm gonna transfer the data from laptop A to laptop B so let's just go ahead and connect both the laptop using LAN cable now you can see the light is blinking on the laptop B now I'm going to transfer data from this laptop to this laptop or vice or versa. You can do both of the both way. Here I am in computer A. So I'm going to go to network. Just go to network and right click on it. Open network and sharing center. Hit on that. You can see the access type is here is Ethernet so go ahead and click on that now you wanna go to the properties then here search for internet protocol version 4 it is here just select that and hit on properties now click on use following IP address so you wanna give your own IP address to your laptop in order to recognize in a local area network so hit on that and if you don't know about the IP it's basically a way to recognize a computer in a network so you want to keep this unique in a given LAN area so I want to give this IP address 192.168.1.1 then 10 for laptop A just hit on tab it will automatically make a subnet mask for your computer and if you're not sure about what to type and what to not just follow my procedure and it will be fine once you are done with that hit on ok close close Go ahead and close that. Now you wanna go to this PC. Just open that. Go to the folder which you want to share. So I'm gonna share this movies folder actually. So right click on that. Go to share with click on specific people here in the drop down box select everyone hit on add and now you can see the permission level that it is showing by default is read so user can only read the data from computer A he will not be able to paste any data or make any changes to the data which is available in the movies folder that I am sharing from laptop A so I'm gonna read and write uh, in laptop A so I'm gonna select that and hit on read and write click on share click on done now I'm gonna do the same thing in the other computer once you are done with the laptop A let's just go ahead and do the same setting in laptop B so go to the network and sharing center mm, not that one right click on it open network and sharing center 
here you can see the connection type is ethernet now you can see just click on that and under the ethernet status go ahead and click on properties and here search for tcp ip version 4 hit on properties and click on the use following ip address now you want to gain the almost the same ip just make a little difference in last just follow what i'm doing 192 168 1 and the laptop a has 10 at last but laptop b will have 20 hit on tab it will automatically do the subnet mask hit on ok close and close just press window r it will open the run and here you can type backslash backslash 192 1 68 you can see now 1 and laptop A has 10 at last so 10 hit on enter and depending upon your setting your computer may ask the username and password of the computer A that I have used I haven't set any username or password so it is uh, giving uh, as it is but in your case it may ask username and password just give the username and password then you will be good to go and you will be able to access the file so let's just go ahead and it, the movie folder that I have shared in my laptop A it is available in laptop B also so this is the movie just copy that and you can paste wherever you want I'm gonna open my C drive E drive actually go to the new folder maybe paste over here so you can see the speed is up to 79 mbps depending upon what you are pasting uh, let me show because i have selected read and write so i can paste whatever i want over there so i'm gonna paste one episode or maybe the full season of sherlock how about that just hit on copy and go to the uh, laptop A so this window belongs to laptop A you can see and this belongs to this laptop so I'm gonna right click and paste you can see how fast data is being getting transferred Depending upon the type of Ethernet cable that you are using over here, the speed may vary to 100 Mbps to 50 Mbps. You can see, it is much faster, 81 Mbps, yeah. So, thanks again for watching this video, I hope this video helps and if you like this video, don't forget to like and comment if you have any kind of problem or suggestion, anything you want me to teach you. Just leave a comment down below and I'll be very happy to help you. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video where I will teach you some more awesome things about computer. So I'll see you there.